good morning. Guess what day it is? It's circus day, <laughs> circus camp. And I'm here, I'm running a little late. That's not like me, I'm always early, but of course I spilled something on my shirt before I left. And uh, so I am here and I am looking at the trapeze. Oh, you know how you think, oh, I'm brave. I could do that. I did it before. I'm not scared anymore. Uh, yeah, my stomach's a little, a little in knots right now, just even looking at it. So I'll show you it. But uh, yeah, there's only two other cars. I think there's only like five, five ladies, I think, doing this. So, um, okay, I gotta go. Uh, but come on, you're coming to the circus camp with me. Let's go. Okay, so I just pulled up, and isn't it beautiful? It's the perfect day. Look at that. That's what we're going to be flying from. It looks so high even from here. But, uh, yeah, it's supposed to be 72 degrees today. And look at it. Oh, it's here. It's so beautiful here. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, this is Nick, and then I'm up after Nick. Okay, let's try this again. Yeah, I'm up after him. if I can get through this time.
it's the end of the day. What time is it? Like five five fifteen. Five fifteen. It's after five. Yeah, probably. It's funny. The day went kind of slow in the beginning, and then all of a sudden, it's like what? It's yeah. five. Yeah. Uh, it's busy. So this is Sherry. Hello. Hello. Sherry, you own. Yes. And um, what's the, it's flying the flying colors trapeze? Flying colors trapeze. Yeah. And so, because you were telling me, because I went to trapeze before in St. Paul, mm -hmm. but you guys, your sister helped. We them. helped build them build. We let them start here, and then we helped them build the rig. She did a lot of welding for them. Yeah. And so, this is what I'm intrigued about: uh, yeah. is how you even got into. Why do you have this in your backyard? Because yeah. they live here. Yep. Yep. So. Um, my kids were going to a local kids circus, Circus yeah. Juventus. Okay. And at that time, um, they had adult um, classes. They don't right. do it anymore. But they were new in their building, so they were trying to use up the space. Yep. And my kids were little, like kindergarten, you know, and first grade. So um, I had to watch them do it. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so your family kind of are unfair. Your family are circus people? No, no, no. Okay. So I started doing flying trapeze with them just in their adult classes. Yeah. And then I fell in love with circus and I started doing local aerials. So I trained on silks and everything. And then I, I, they stopped doing classes. So I started traveling to Florida to train with Tito Gallona. Oh and my I gosh. went to California to train with a guy, Dave, who used to be out there. He's, he's not there anymore, but, um, but his rig's still there. But um, just traveled around. Um, eventually, when I turned 40, um, my husband, we were we were going to build a rig, yeah. my sister and I, because she's an amazing rigger and um, has all those skills. And um, Was she doing it with you? I mean, were you both trapped? So she started to do some trapeze. At first right. she said, I'm not going to put on a leotard. <laughs> no, that would be the worst. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we were going to build it. My husband didn't really trust it, so he just bought, bought one. Right, made by um, a professional uh, who's no longer around either. But so it was his first backyard rig, uh -huh. um, Trevor, Trevor Boswell, and um, yeah, and then and then we started to bring in professionals. So we started bringing Tony Steele. Tony Steele's a dear friend of mine. He's an old time, very famous flyer. He he caught the first three and a half, kind of broke the barrier. Oh, really? Between a triple and yeah, so three and a half you get caught by your legs. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. So he's That's now, next week. Yeah. So he's now in his late eighties in Florida, but he's he's dear. But he came out every year for a couple of weeks and then we would bring every month we would bring somebody out to train. Well and you still so this is like you have kids camps during the yep. summer. Yep. And so I bye, camp. bye. I know you're so, No, that's okay. No, reach out and then um send me a message. Oh. Will you send a message to all of us yes, so we yes, know? Yes, I will link you all it. together. She's from, so she flew all safe. the way from Houston no. to come here. Yeah, she's coming back in a couple she's weeks. She's coming back. <laughs> so, um, okay, so then so then we only did flying trapeze for a number of years. Right. But uh, I would teach camps. Yep. So for about 20 years, we've been yep. doing this. 20, close to 20 years, 18 years. <laughs> I've been flying for about 25 years, but we've been here for... 18 years okay and then um and then we um just about eight about eight years ago i kept watching just circus is so empowering yeah. it's so uh, much about um giving people an opportunity to practice their courage right oh, and and oh, flying right. trapeze is a safe way to do that yes. right because even climbing the ladder is a success right and it, this is the safest ladder you'll ever climb yep. because it's got ropes to protecting it and safety yep. belts and in. so it's like all levels right there's the yep. climbing the ladder then there's the Standing. bravery to jump off the board yes. and then there's the bravery to swing and, yeah you know, so it's like all the levels yeah and as people come back um so you only did it for a short time but if you were here like for a kids camp for instance right if you were doing it day after day right you know you would be able to tackle each of those right. things more yep. slowly well like I said right. I was not afraid like the last time I went I told you I was holding on to the ladder because I had to wait you know like oh. if your brain gets oh. to stop for a minute yeah, no. like yeah. somebody was up there yeah. and they're like wait and oh. I'm afraid of heights yeah and I literally and then you froze. and I looked at yeah. him and I said no I can't do this and they don't have a ladder that's protected no right they did right. it yeah and it was no, moving, you yeah. know? Yeah. And he said to me, he goes, Tracy, it's easier to go this way than that way. He was kind of cute. So I said, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I did do it. Yeah, good. good. Um, it, but this time, because I didn't know. I mean, that's been like 15 years ago. Yeah. And this time I walked up. Not no, quite. I don't think they've been there that long. But or yeah, maybe, pretty, yeah, pretty less than that. Yeah. And, uh, but when I went up there, 
I just like focused on something else. I wasn't you like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I wasn't like, oh my God, I can't do this. Yeah. It was more about just getting the grip and stuff like that. And once you do it once, then it just, Some you people, know. yeah, usually it's like, okay, I'm safe. I see it. I, and I've been it. lowered to the net. Now yeah. I know, you know, always. It's the trust. I, yeah. That you need. yeah. Yeah. Right. But I, so for some people that doesn't necessarily get over the fear. Oh, no. <laughs> right. No. Every time you go. I was surprised. Yeah. I mean, because I'm like, it's going to go one or two ways. I'm going to be holding on to yeah. the ladder like this yeah. and say I can't do it. Or, yeah, I just, it's, it's a great feat. With it. And nobody knew that you were afraid of heights. You tackled yeah. it. Like, there yeah. was no nervousness at but all. But that's that was what awesome. I learned from van life, too. Yeah. Like, you know, like exactly. going over mountains. Yeah. And I tell them, yeah. go, I used to hate going over bridges. Yeah. And now, w once you immerse yourself in it, yeah. it just becomes normal. Yeah, you're amazing. Normal. Yeah. You know? And traveling a alone, woman, traveling alone. Amazing. Yeah, well, and that's why I tell you, so that's the channel. It's uh, the answer's over 50. Yeah. And hold on, you're mine. Try 58. 58. Yeah, so we're both 58. And I was saying how, you know, somebody was just telling you that somebody said, oh, I'm 40, do you think that's too old like, oh, to do this? No, no. I When I was down at Tito's, and that's one of one of the, when you said, like, why did right. I decide to do it? So I was down at Tito Guyana's, and this old, um, like, maybe 80s mm -hmm. lady, yep. this very elderly lady, yes. with her beautiful silver hair, yes. came, she came walking up, I think her name was PG. Uh huh. Like she came up, she climbed the circus ladder. So you climbed a solid, regular ladder. Yeah. Tied to the ground with a safety line. She climbed a circus ladder, which is a wire ladder that just floats around. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So this lady climbed it. You were on what we call a tourist board, right? Like okay. You have this big board. Yeah. It's almost like you could put a sofa on it. Almost. Not quite, but. <laughs> Maybe a skinny chair. Okay. <laughs> a professional board is literally a yeah. board. Just one she board, climbed up yeah. onto a board that was tipping forward. And she did a knee hang. And I said, you know what? If she can do it, like, anybody can do it, anybody, right? So yeah. it's so accessible it is. to all ages. Yeah. We say 8 to 80. Yeah. Now, you do have to be able to hang from your hands yeah. and not hurt your shoulders, yeah. right? So we yeah. practice on the ground. Yeah. We practice jumping off the board because we can help you slide off the board gently so it's not yeah. jarring. Yeah. And as long as you can hang on to your weight. Yeah, and everything is very well, like, rehearsed Methodical. beforehand. Yep. Yeah. And then, but you guys That's also whole, have, like, horseback riding. We have, yeah, we have equestrian trick riding camps for adults and kids yep. and teenagers. We do wake surf and water sports camps, and then we do 10 weeks of circus camps. So you can get into, for little tiny kids, um, ages 6 to 9, well, actually, this is more 6-7s, mm -hmm. um, would go in our three-day camp. 8 and up, or actually now 7 and up, so yeah. even, you know, kind of depending... I know how big they are. But right. seven and up can go into our five day camps, which mm -hmm. cover all the circus arts. So we do German wheel and aerial yep. arts and balance yep. and juggling. And the little tiny kids get to do a low casting. So it's uh -huh. like a little mini version right. of the big one. Yep. And once they've done that a few times, they're usually pretty good to go up there. Oh, and they're um, usually fearless. They don't know fear yet. Yeah, so they're, right. They're but here's the thing I do want to get them beyond the age of reason. Right, right. right. Because because I want them to look up and say, I understand it's high right. and I'm going to choose it right. and not go up because they're fearless and then look around and go, right. what am I doing yeah. with fear? Right. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Because I don't want to create a fear. Right. Right. Yeah. So, um, so yes, we do all the circuit sites and then we have more advanced yeah. camps for, you know, people who have done it, you know, so aerial camps or flying trapeze and, you know. Isn't it funny camps, though how it's all, bungee, come, it's all come for, full circle? Yeah. Like that's how you started because you went with your kids, you yep. brought your kids. Yep. And yep. now yeah. other people are bringing their kids to you. Yes, and I've had, I have um, people who have come to, like or their kids came to camp and then they came to adult camp and now they are aerialists yeah. who do shows. Right? Yeah, that'll be new. That's right? next year. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, really, it's amazing. <laughs> well, so it's just about inspiring, right? It's right. Like, That's it's exactly like we all right. have to play at yep. every age, right? Yep. So we have to tackle our fears, and right. then we also want to do this and have fun and and hopefully inspire people. We had, um, yep. we often do groups like um, the homeless kids came out, and the one boy was actually a huge man. He was just yeah. turning 20 or something, so he was, or maybe he was just 18, so he was just going to be out on his own. Right. And um, he came up. 
It took a long time to tackle his fear. Oh, he stood on the it. board a long time. Yeah. And when he finally did it, he looked up and he said, if I can do that, I can do, do anything. anything. Which is exactly I what said, we hope. Right? I said That's that after skydiving. Yes, when I landed, exactly. I'm Me like, too. if I can do that, I can do anything. Yes, you know? yes, yes. That's and so terrifying. It's amazing. This and is way less terrifying than skydiving. Oh, it is. <laughs> You're hooked in. And yeah, so. You did that with your fear of heights. That's yeah. crazy. Well, like I said, crazy. it wasn't, I think because of the van life and immersing myself in yeah. facing those fears yeah listen traveling with crazy drivers going oh, yeah. over mountains you know yeah. what i mean yeah I'm i've like, been there i'm like yeah I, I've this lived is in not a van. <laughs> i mean yeah, you get it yeah. so um well this is amazing and again yeah that's what it's about it's about inspiring people to say you are not too old no to do you anything. can do it oh absolutely and i already told them about the lady who's 70 who doesn't broke her collar not here but playing pickleball oh she's playing pickleball pickleball yes. who knew pickleball is such a, a beautiful flyer. dangerous sport yeah and you she's know? in her 70s and tony Steele, granted he was a um, professional but he flew into his 80s yeah yeah well i'm sure if you're still healthy like your shoulders yeah. and your knees yeah. like you said what he you need to do every day into a swing just to keep living and keep themselves strong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on. We need to play at all we do. ages. Well, yeah, and I told you, you how stressed to out I've been. Yeah. And now by the end of the day here, that was the whole point of me coming. Yeah. You know, it was like at first I was like, oh, okay, yeah. signed up for a date today. Yeah, you, you know? chose the thing that makes you maybe right. more stressed because of height. Right. Well, no, and then after I did it, and like I said, I just had out some stuff and I just did it at my leisure. And now I feel like, Okay. Do you stress? Do you? Yeah. And everybody is so nice. They're so nice. It's so fun to have adults. And it's, it's so fun to get yeah, adult playground here. Yeah. And our adult uh, circus, our adult horse riding camp yep. is a full five days of just Oh, I know. Amy just did that. Yeah. yeah, that's what she said. And you get to bring the horses down to the beach, which is really magical. Yeah, there's a beach. Right? Yep, to bring yeah. the horses yeah. and Crazy. play in the water. So sweet. They're so, so what's sweet. the website here? We are flyingcolorstrapeze.com. Right. So, you know, you can do it in flying colors. Oh, and uh, like who we just said goodbye to, Carrie, she came from Houston. Yeah. And she came last night. She's come in in three weeks for the horse camp. Yep. So, you don't have to. Oh, and there's still space in the horse camp. Yeah. Come on. Yep. Come on down. July. I may do it may myself. Horse camp. Yep. I Actually, that was one of the things I was looking at you before. You would love it. No, really. And it's so methodical. And really, everybody's so successful. I'm good at pointing my toes yeah. and holding No, you straight. would love it. <laughs> She's great. The horses are amazing. Yeah. They're really well trained. They're professional trick riding oh. horses that are in their kind they of know. older yeah. years and they are just gentle right. and lovely. Well, and then just connecting with the horses. So and we couldn't have asked for a better day. Yeah, we yeah. yeah. And you get to bring, bring them to the beach and swim all day with them. Ride the horse while it's well, swimming. Well, well, <laughs> super fun. Oh my and God. Playing in the water. It's super fun. Yeah. Well, Sherry, thank, thank you. you. It's so fun to have you. Yeah, it was here. so fun to be so here. Fun I'll be back. I'm inspired by your show. Who knows by next year I'll I'll be I'll yeah, be traveling with the circus. Yeah, all sounds good. <laughs> That's next. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Thanks. So I just wanted to wrap this up real quick. It's like six o'clock. Got there at nine. Uh I just want to tell you how resilient the human spirit is. So this guy Nick was there with his wife. She had to leave early. She's a nurse. Um and I guess they met, they were both firefighters and they were both, she too, was on the SWAT team. But talking to Nick, um, he had cancer for six years. And um, and then the girl Carrie, she flew from Houston and she had thyroid cancer. And then John Lucas, he's only 22, he broke his back playing football. And I tell you, those are the people a lot of times that you're going to meet at those places because here's the thing. They've already looked fear in the face and they're like, okay, what else you got for me? You know, like, what do you got to lose when you've already faced such trials? And it's just so inspiring to me. And uh, I, I just randomly watched uh, the documentary Celine Dion on Prime. Just because I was riveted to the TV. Um, and you know, my girlfriend Chelsea just passed away from stiff person syndrome. It's a cruel, cruel thing. But again, if you watch it, the human spirit is resilient. So um, it inspires me. Okay, I'm gonna let you go. Uh, you know what to do. Go out, make an adventure. Hey, dry circus camp.
<laughs> you don't have to go that big. Uh, go call someone you love, and as Joyce says, tell them that you love them. And don't you dare. No, don't you do it. Don't you do it. I know life is hard sometimes. I know it is. I know it is. But don't ever forget your magic. Okay. I will see you in the next one. Bye.